This is Matt Myers, Ham Eagle 21. Got the brand new E Tech 5. Just grabbed it last night. Um, I think I shot like 10 balls with it at the paintball store just to try it out last night. We had a team practice or team tryouts for Chicago. Aggressive. Anyways, we're going to try this thing out. Show you guys a little bit of something about it. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't. Hair's on. I'm going to shoot it over a chrono. Got the clock. It's 290. I don't know if you can see it, but 273, 82, 82, 81, 70, 75, 83, 83, 82, 76. You can see it's quite consistent. Okay, I've, what I've got is a shaft for 89 off uh, one of my other guns, but. What I'm going to do is you can hear that. I'll switch this. And I'll put the stock barrel on there. I thought the stock was an 89, but apparently, after I got home last night, I was looking. Apparently, it's a 93 is the stock. And uh, Yeah, you can see there was some barrel breaks. Obviously, they're not chops. paint it's 31 degrees out it's kind of cold grab another pod do the same spot Now that I did that, let's chrono with the new barrel. See if there's a difference. Oops, 279, 74, 84, 81, 72, 80, 80, 82, 77, 75, 74, 79. So yeah, it's a little bit slower, not much. So it's a little bit overboard. If it's a 93, then it is what it is. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Um, sorry for the quality. I'm not a videographer, but uh, it's actually a nice little gun. Feels identical to an LV1 when you touch it and hold it. Obviously, it's got a macro line, you know, instead of the air transfer tube. I've owned three or four LV1s right in there. I've owned about everything. Um, you know, for the price, it doesn't have as smooth of a shot as an LV1. Um, but it's, you know, it's a completely different gun than any E-Tech 4. I've owned the old E-Techs, trust me. Um, I've had from the originals to the 2s, the 3s, and the 4s. But, you know, with this, obviously, you just have the LED. You can grab the upgrade. I probably will, but local shop TC Paintball only had the one blue one in stock from Planet Eclipse. So... Anyways, just thought I'd share my thoughts a little bit, let you see it shooting, see the sound difference maybe between the shaft 4 from like a, uh, that's an Eagle 11 shaft 4, you know, versus the E-Tech shaft 4, which is a little, you know, more plain, 
you know, simplified. Everything's a little simplified, I guess, is the way I'll use it. Um, you know, from the oops um, instead of the pops. But hell, you're only screwing it on there once and then screwing it off at the end of the day. So, I mean, if you're that lazy where you got to push a little thing, I mean, it's neat, don't get me wrong. But, anyways, other than that, impressions are, are good so far. I mean, it's very consistent over the reg, especially being brand new. Um, other than that, guys, if you have a question, go ahead and ask me in the comments section. Um, I'll do what I can to answer it. I'm not an expert or anything. I'm not going to tear this apart or anything. There's no need to. There's other videos with that happening and stuff. So, anyways, guys, talk to you later.